Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos, back with a very fast um, case card class. Look at this cute, adorable, very pink, very girly, um, gorgeous card. Now it is using our Coffee Cafe bundle, but it's using it in a different way as a, so I've got a sticky bit there, as a cupcake rather than a coffee cup. Um, love this idea and um, let me tell you how you're going to make it. So we will need the Coffee Cafe bundle, which is the Coffee Cafe stamp set and coffee cup framelit dies. Um, we'll also be needing the stitched shaped framelit dies, the circle there. And I'm using the sentiment, happy birthday from fairy celebration, loving the font on this stamp set. Now we're using Blushing Bride, and this is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. You will need a piece of Whisper White for the inside, which is four and one eighths by five and three eighths, a scrap piece of Blushing Bride, and a scrap piece of Whisper White. Now, I have already gone ahead and cut out my stitched shaped circle um, from the Blushing Bride. So we're going to pop that just there. Then we're going to bring in our piercing mat, which has dimensionals all stuck to it. Um, oh, I forgot to say, you will also need a doily and a piece of ribbon and a little bit of baker's twine for a bow. Ugh, it's stuck to my fingers. Right, okay, so we're going to bring in our piercing mat. And on the Blushing Bride, we have the patterned coffee cup, which is like a three-quarter um, inch three quarter inch three quarters of a cup sort of shape it's not the largest one in the set and we're using early espresso and we're just going to stamp that down like that then we also need what else do we do we need to Put the sentiment on our card. Pop that there for a second. Oh, goodness me. So we're going to pop the sentiment down. Now I have, I see, I use my lovely stamp, hand stamp for you at stamping up. Being very good recently. Right, okay, so we're going to use the early espresso and the sentiment here. And we're just going to pop that down on the bottom like that and what else do we need to do Chanel? right we need to bring in our we're done with our early espresso we need now we need what do we need we need the blushing bride blushing bride and what we're going to do with our stitched shaped circle and we have the little diddy heart we're just going to pop some hearts down on here and then we're going to pop a couple down on the front of the card so we're just going to do one there one there and then I'm going to do three up here like that and then we also need to bring in our whisper white and we're going to do the frosting on the frosting the whipped cream i should say and we're just going to do that there and then what you need to do we need to take these over to the big shop and you need to cut out use your die to cut that out but also on the coffee cup base, let me just grab the dies. What you're going to do is take in, um, this die, so it's the smaller of the thing. We're just going to line that up and cut out a section of that. So we need to go to the big shop and do those, which obviously I have already done. So we have them here. So you have them like that 
I'm going to pop that out of the way, and that out of the way, and that out of the way, and I think all that's left to do is to put this card together, unless I've missed something, of course. So I'm just going to put some Tombow on the inside piece. like that and then I'm going to take some I find it some oh my gosh snail couldn't even think what it's called then so we're just gonna put some snail down on the doily I'm gonna pop that down just there and then we can put the stitch shaped circle. That is such a mouthful. A stitched shaped circle. And we'll pop that down like that. And then we need to put a bit of fast fuse. And let me just see. What did I do? Did I do fast fuse? I think I did. So we're going to run a bit of fast fuse along here for the ribbon. I need to cut that down, don't I? So we're just going to cut that down a little bit. And we're going to pop that down. Oops, I need it over a bit more. And then that's over too far. Oh, I'll get it on like that and I might just pop another little bit of fast fuse just to hold that down and then I'm going to pop this on with dimensionals oh my goodness me do you know everything is sticking to me today I do not know what's going on going to pop some dimensionals down on this that's way too big we don't need that and then some dimensionals on the top piece down Ugh, get off me I'm gonna pop that on just there oh, I've got snails and fast fuses and things everywhere and I've still got another couple of tutorials yet to do right I'm going to pop that top on just like that and then all that's left to do is to taking some um oh my gosh what are they called these sparkly things rhinestones no no they're not rhinestones oh my gosh my brain's gone dead you know what they are they're lovely sparkly gems I'm just going to put some down, just like that. Oh, I would do if it didn't stick to my finger. And another one there. There you go. How gorgeous. <coughs> Excuse me, and how quick is that card? absolutely loving it another way to use the coffee cafe bundle and just adorable i've just seen that's quite a long ribbon on that one so looks okay 
I might shorten it, don't know. Um, so there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this quick case card class. And I will be back later with another tutorial. So take care for now. Bye-bye.